why am I here, bruh? Like, why am I here? This is just too much, bruh. Like, I am black. I am African. I am Nigerian. Why am I in the U.S. of A? Like, like, bruh, these niggas and when I say these niggas, I mean my parents literally decided that they were going to take their vessels, their bodies, and come over here and then produce, produce me. with no plan, no trust fund, no plan. And I'm just like here. And I'm just, I'm like stuck here. <laughs> and what saddens me is literally knowing that these niggas really believe that coming over here has better opportunity like bruh do you know how much brainwash it takes to really believe that coming over here was like hey hey USA, hey, hey, US, like, no, bruh. <sighs> no. Like, and like, people, like, at first it was like, niggas was getting snatched, bruh. Niggas was getting snatched. Like, do we forget? How niggas was getting snatched <laughs> to come over here and we're just willy-nilly just oh let me grab my my Ghana must go bag and come over here bruh like <laughs> it's like bruh Just because whips and chains aren't involved does not mean that slavery isn't still taking place, bruh. I am tired. I and I hate to say this, I might, I might get some, you know, side eyes for saying this, but just hear me out, just hear me out. People want to sit up here and complain about, you know, slavery and racism and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. But truthfully, there has been slavery since the beginning of time, like within all races. There's just a hierarchy. That's really the issue is hierarchies and elites and putting that that facts to the side um did we forget that we literally sold our slaves the people at the bottom for material things and yet here we are in america trying to acquire material things like bruh and like obviously it, it's a pyramid right hold on how do i lock this thing how do i lock this thing 
okay, I can't watch this in, but it, it's a pyramid. Y'all know what a pyramid looks like. The people at the bottom, when that, you know, the people at the bottom, when that goes, then guess what? Now the middle class becomes the people at the bottom. And then the people at the top, it shrinks. It shrinks. So then, yeah, what happens now? Now the middle class becomes the people at the bottom. So it's like, bruh, what kind of tomfoolery did these Spaniards? <laughs> like, I sometimes I think about this, like, bruh, what did they say? What did they, what was the offer, bruh? What was the offer? <laughs> like, say the offer was, I don't know, say the offers were guns and ammo, right? Hypothetically speaking eventually the ammo is going to run out so it's like why did we not take in consideration that somebody somebody got to do the slaving up in here like and if you sell them like scratch that scratch that if you sell them Somebody has to do the heavy lifting. Somebody has to do the gardening. Somebody has to do the work that people don't want to do. But if you sold, if you sold those people for material things that aren't going to last forever, like, bruh, what was the offer? I need to know. So anyways, boom, the slaves have been sold, right? You're sitting there, you're enjoying your material things, but uh-oh. We're running out of food. Uh-oh. Who's going to wash our cars? Uh-oh. Who's going to do all the slave work? Uh-oh. They're not reproducing. Uh-oh. Duh. And then it's like, bruh. Like, that was like the biggest. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Like, that's some. Look. <laughs> like, that's actually fucking embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed and you may not like the next thing I'm about to say but I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it because somebody gotta say it but anyways what I was talking about before is people want to sit up here and basically complain and moan and groan about racism when we can just go back like there's nothing stopping us from just going back i mean if we're gonna be slaves in other countries we might as well be slaves in our own country i'm just i'm just saying at least you don't have to like at least you'll be a slave but you don't have to deal with the racism it's just like bruh because this is ghetto this is ghetto <laughs> this is ghetto but yeah, if we just go back, like, I'm explaining the whole scientific, spiritual part of that. But yes, if we just go back, because imagine, like, uh, they're going to lose a lot of their bottom pyramids, right? If, if, if most of the people at the bottom just return back to their own native countries and lands and stuff like that, then the middle class is forced to move down. Like, I feel like that's actually what's happening. And so, obviously, the elites are shrinking. It's shrinking. And so, why are we still here? It, it, that, this brings me back to my original question is, why are we still here complaining about racism when we can just go back? Like, am I missing something? Like, what am I missing? Let me know. Let me know. Other than the fact that they're trying to inject us with that big pharma venom. So anyway, don't get don't don't worry, I got it covered. So what we finna do is we finna meet in SF, okay, San Francisco, and we finna build a boat. <sighs> I'm just kidding, bruh. Y'all niggas don't know how to build a boat. But I mean it's that's neither here nor there, bruh. 
what are we finna do? Like, and this is a genuine question, like, bruh, is we finna go? Is we finna stay? Is we finna stay and fight? Is we, like, what are we actually finna do? Because even with this whole Goldman Sachs investing in black women businesses, um, yeah, I have something to say about that, too, because what is really an investment right when people invest in things they want a return on that investment and one day they are going to come and they are going to collect 